All right, so here we go. Um, we are going to add um, different details. Okay, so today what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to add details like bricks and siding. Okay, so bricks and siding on, on things, it's like a fun little detail that you can add to stuff. Uh, but let me show you how to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the building that I was working with before, and I'm going to set up a pattern. Now you can use a ruler. Okay, so let's say I, I use this ruler and I go, oh, every centimeter I put a little hash mark. Okay, a little hash mark there to be able to tell me, all right, just to keep this even, just like so. Now for the front of the building, just like I did with the... Um, just like I did with the windows and doors, it's very simple, okay? If I wanna make it look like siding, I just put horizontal lines, okay? So here we go, some horizontal lines going straight across. And make sure that you make these straight across, okay? Don't have them tilted or else your building will look a little bit off. Okay, so horizontal lines, it gets the idea and hopefully you are getting the idea that uh, this yeah, not too difficult, okay? So that's if you wanna put siding, if you wanna make it look like siding, okay? And obviously you would continue that down here and you'd use your ruler, okay? And you'd do the same thing up here and you'd have it go all the way across, okay? So that's how it would look like siding. Uh, I'd continue that over, across, and across again down there, okay? So that's how it would look like siding. How it would look like bricks, well, now that we're, we're getting a little bit tricky. So here we go. So the bricks, the way I would make it look like bricks is I come over and I say, all right, well, every two centimeters, put a vertical line, put another vertical line, and put another vertical line. Okay? So I segment it like that. Then for the second row, I'm just going to alternate it. So for that one, I'm going to go vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. Okay? Then I'm going to go back to my original pattern. I'm going to put the vertical line, vertical line, vertical line, back to the second version. And what I end up with is a brick pattern, okay? And it will look like bricks, okay? Now, where it gets tricky, again, with everything else, it gets a little bit more tricky going back in perspective. Not difficult, but a little trickier. So I've got a point right here. That point on that little hash mark that I created at the beginning is going to go to the vanishing point. And it'll look kind of like the windows there. This point right here is also going to go to the vanishing point. Now what's going to happen is the closer you get to the horizon line, the flatter it's going to be. Now you may not understand what that means until you see it in person. But if you notice, my ruler is flattening out. And once it goes below the horizon line, well then it's going to start to dip or tick up as opposed to dip down. So this is ticking up and we're still going up. Okay. So as you look at that, you start to see that where it kind of zoop gets a little bit um, uh, closer together on the right side of that building as opposed to the left side of the building. And you're going to do the same thing with the segments. So vertical line, Make sure these are straight up and down. And you can make these a little bit closer together as they go farther back. So it looks something like that. Then we're going to go back to the original, or back to uh, an alternating version. So vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. Then go back to the original. Go back to this alternate version. And as long as you are alternating that vertical lines, it'll begin to look like bricks going back in perspective. So that's how you would do bricks, and that's also how you would do siding. Siding, you just wouldn't put those vertical lines in, okay? So that's bricks, that's um, uh, siding. Let's show you the last one, and that would be adding lettering, okay? So adding lettering on this to the front of a building, you would set up a horizontal line Okay, and you'd want to use your ruler for this, and you'd set up another horizontal line. And just like if you were working on uh, a sheet of notebook paper, you would use the top and the bottom of that notebook paper to be able to write Sears. Okay, so Sears. 
So you see how I'm using the top line and I'm using the bottom line. I'm even using that middle line. The same thing is going to happen with this. Is if I'm going to write sears on this, I'm going to figure out where the edge is and where the other edge is, and I'm going to fit sears in here. So I'm say S and E, and I'm using the top and the bottom just like I did with the notebook paper. Okay, so there's my A, and you get the idea going all the way across. All right, so the front of the building, not too difficult. You would then, you know, erase your excess, those, those guidelines and everything like that, and you would make it look a lot cleaner once it was all done. But using those guidelines is going to be very helpful to make it look straight and not look all wonky, okay? So again, where it gets difficult is where it's going back in perspective. So let's figure that one out. I'm going to figure where the corner of the sign is going to be closest to me. I've got a point here and a point there. I'm going to create my guidelines by taking them to the vanishing point. So that is going to the vanishing point, and this is going to the vanishing point. Okay, so that's going to look like that. When I crop it off there and there, you'll notice that way off in the distance it's a lot thinner, okay, and then it's taller at the uh, at the area that's closest to me. So. I'm going to start with the first letter, and that S is going to be very vertical, because it's very far away. That E, I'm going to use that top line going you know, to the vanishing point, going to the vanishing point. This middle section is also going to the vanishing point. So just like this middle section of the E has that center section, you can draw that center section if you want. Kind of like that. Here's the A. R. Oh, this is going to be tight. And this is going to be the S. And you'll notice that the first S is a lot shorter than the second S. Okay? But it's in there, it's going to look correct perspective wise. You can now erase your excess and make it look a lot better. Okay? So as long as you are you know, drawing this on there very lightly, you can get that kind of look, and you can make your uh, buildings look a lot more realistic than just scribbling um, uh, lettering on the side of the building, okay? You can add lettering, you can add um, uh, names to all the buildings now, now that you understand that. Uh, just, you know, go ahead and put uh, some names on the building, make sure you put windows and doors, and, and, you know, you don't have to put bricks on every building, but, you know, if you want to put bricks on it, I just showed you the way. You want to put siding, same thing, okay? Um, not every building has to have a name on it, but adding those kind of details are what's going to make this an interesting um, uh, cityscape. There's nothing more boring, I mean, like, you're going to hate this project if you don't put some fun little details into it, and I just showed you a couple of those, okay? We're going to be working on this for several more days, okay? After that, I'm going to show you how we're going to be adding value to this, okay? So just make sure that you're uh, following along with that, and um, we'll see you here soon.